detected. I repeat, a gas leak has been detected. I repeat, a gas leak has been detected. So here's the gas shutoff valve here. Um, I added on an open close contact sensor just as a double check to make sure that what the valve reporting is correct. I have a similar thing on my water shutoff that has worked well. So I added it to this one as well. Um, Pretty much the whole automation, which you'll see later on in the video, is when the Shelly detector detects gas, this will close. It will confirm it's closed and speak over all the A's. It will send both myself and my wife an alert through the Home Assistant app then it will also call us, and I think it will send me an email as well. So hopefully, no matter where I am, if I have some sort of internet access, I should be alerted to it somehow. So here's the whole brains of the operation. Um, I'm going to try to go through it pretty much in order, but I'll have to hop across certain things just because it'll make more sense as I explain it. Um, but pretty much here we got our gas leak detected. So if the actual Shelly unit says, hey, um, we have a leak, then that will start this whole thing. So I'm going to hop over this for right now. I'll explain that in a second. But so, leak is detected according to the Shelly. Then we're going to start a 30 second timer. And then also on all the A's in the house, we're going to speak and let everybody know that a leak has been detected. And also how to cancel it. So, um... Here, if you're sure it's a false alarm, hold down on any light switch. So, across our house, I switched to uh, Innovelli Reds. I got, I think, like 25 of them. So, what's nice about sticking with the same one across the board is now I can do something like this, where no matter where we are in the house, we can cancel this routine so that all of this stuff does not happen. So um, if we do want to cancel it, that's the purpose of this here. It's just pretty much saying, hey, if a notification comes across through Z-Wave JS that a, the down button is held, then I want you to check to see, is the Shelly saying there's a leak? And if it is, then I want you to turn on this helper I have that's the gas leak cancel routine. And then also all the A's will just let us know that the routine has been canceled, which means Again, all of this stuff you see here won't happen. So if we do hold down, then this happens here, which then will trigger this top thing to happen only. So all this stuff won't, only the top thing will, which it just pretty much waits three minutes. It then turns that helper back off and it lets us know the helper is now off again and everything is back to normal. And so that's why I have this in here to just check, hey, did we turn the cancel on for some reason? I can't really think of a good valid reason now that 
we would intentionally have a gas leak happen other than for testing purposes, but just in case I have this in here, if that ever happens. But so assuming we don't want to cancel it, then I have this um, wait node for 30 seconds. So if we never turn the cancel on, then now all of the stuff connected to this one will occur. And the first, what, five things are just purely either um, sending my phone a message through the Home Assistant app, calling me through, I use Twilio, and it'll just, you know, let me know. Uh, same thing with my wife. It'll send her phone a message. It'll call her, and then I'll also get an email. So I'm just trying to cover pretty much that no matter where I am or what I have access to, assuming I have some sort of internet connection, I should know that a leak's been detected. So this is just the um, the email subject is here, and then in the email it would just say that. And that's just tied to my email address. And here's the most important thing is it's going to tell that gas valve to turn off. Then we're going to wait 20 seconds to give that valve time. Then we're going to check the valve to see if it's still open. And this is checking the valve itself. It's not looking at the added uh, wise open close sensor that I put on there. This is still just saying, does the valve think it's closed? And if it does think it's closed, it then follows this here, which will then send me another email that says, hey, the valve is closed. At the same time, all the A's in the house will speak and say the gas valve has been closed. And at the same time, if we scroll over, I'll have an alert and my wife will have an alert. Um, if the gas valve is still saying it's open, pretty much those same three things happen. I'll have an email. I'm sorry, the four things. I'll have an email. Alex A will speak. I'll have an alert. My wife will have an alert. And then it will also try again. And I don't really know if this matters because if it tried once, I don't know how telling it to try again would actually change anything, you know, if it truly can't move or, you know, but I just have it in there that in the off chance that the signal never made it there, um, it will keep on trying. Um, at the same time now, you know, all these are happening at the exact same time. It'll turn the fireplace off. So we just got switch, turn off, fireplace. It will turn my garage heater off. Same thing, switch, turn off, garage heater. And then it will also turn on a helper I have that I call garage heater off override, which if this helper's on, then in other, you know, in other um, flows here where I may have the, you know, garage heater set to turn on if the temp is under a certain set point, if this helper is on, the heater's not turning on no matter what. No matter what tries to turn it on, it won't until this helper's turned off again. And then I have it checking the uh, thermostat to see, are you currently set to heat, which means you're using gas. And if you are, then turn the heat off, wait three seconds, turn it off again. I found that some, 
For some reason, um, I have an Eco B3 light. It seems like I have to send the command twice, both off and on. Any other command to set the temp or change it, only have to do once. But it seems like off and on, it has to be sent twice. Or I'm just not waiting long enough, but I have it in there twice. Um, and then also it's going to record what my current set point temperature is, and it's going to store it here in a global variable so that then when the heater's turned on again in my in another flow I have it, then look at this global and reset the set point to that. Um, obviously that will be the least of our concern if we truly have a leak, but you know I still want it in there. Um, this here is just a check. It's just checking the what the valve thinks versus what the sensor, th the added wise open close sensor thinks. So it's set to check it. What do I got here? Every hour, it's just saying, hey, what does the valve say? Is it open or closed? What does the wise sensor say? Is it open or closed? If those two don't match, then send me a mismatch email. Um, gas valve state and gas valve sensor state are not matching, which then is going to either tell me that, you know, maybe my sensor fell off or lost power. Um, but obviously something's wrong with either the sensor or the valve itself. Um, and like I said, you know, really at the end of the day, this is all you need is to say, hey, if a gas leak is detected, turn that valve off. You know, this is our main goal here is just to get that valve off. But then, of course, if this is all we had and we're not home, well, we have no clue that anything was ever triggered. So, you know, this is kind of what you start with. And then you think, well, you know, how do I let us know? How do I know it's closed? What if I, for whatever reason, don't want it to close? And then that's what <clears throat> creates then everything else here is you're thinking of the, you know, what ifs. But at the end of the day, even if you just had this, you know, and you were out and you came home, you know, then at least you haven't had hopefully natural gas leaking in your house for an hour but so um that's it if you have any questions about this flow um i'd be happy to answer them just let me know in the comments thanks